groups allow you to manage a roster of pitchers without having to log in and out of each player's profile. Sessions can be thrown, bullpens can be thrown or assigned, and historical pitching sessions can be viewed using groups and connections. Groups can be accessed from the bottom left menu. To search for and request to join an existing group, select the top right menu and select Join Group. On the next page, type in the name of the group you would like to join. If it appears, tap on the row for the desired group and select the white button with three green silhouettes. If the group is open to join requests, the group admin will be notified that you would like to join and will be able to accept you into the group. If the group cannot be joined from the outside, the app will notify you that your group is closed. To create a new group, again select the menu in the top right corner. This time, select the option to create a group. On the next page, you'll need to enter the name of your group followed by an optional description. There are three privacy options you can choose from for your group. Open means that all members can see one another. The group can be found by anyone and the group can be joined by anyone. Closed means that group members can see one another, but outsiders must be approved by the admin to be able to join the group. Secret groups cannot be found in search, group members cannot see one another, and no one can join without admin approval. Select Create when your group is set up the way you would like it. Groups you no longer use can be deleted, again using the top right menu. Select Delete Group. Beside each group will be a touchable circle. Tapping one of these circles will mark the group beside it to be deleted. Any checked group will not be deleted until Delete is selected and confirmed along the top of the page. If you are a member of a group and would no longer like to be, you can remove yourself. To do so, open up the group and select the trash bin icon in the top right corner. As the administrator of a group, you will be able to access the profiles of all group members. You can also add and remove any player you like from the group. To view a player's history, select the group they are a member of, and then select the player's name. A button will appear with a calendar icon. Tap this button to open their history. All of the player's pitching sessions will appear, and it can be selected to view the individual pitches. To return to your group, press the X in the top left corner. If your smart ball is turned on and connected to your mobile device, you will also have the option to record a pitching session for one of your group members. To start a pitching session, press the orange button with the moving ball icon. Each recorded pitch will be saved in the selected player's account. Press the X in the top left corner to return to groups. To edit the group, press the menu icon in the top right corner. From here you can change the name, description, or privacy setting of the group. When satisfied, select Save. To remove a player from the group, open the top right menu and select Remove Player. Small touchable circles will appear beside each player. Tapping a circle will mark the player to be removed from the group. Any checked player will not be removed until Delete is selected and confirmed along the top of the page. To add new players to the group, open the top right menu and select Add Player. If you have any existing connections, they will appear and can be added to the group by tapping on their name and pressing the white button with the three green silhouettes. Otherwise, type the player's name or email into the gray search bar and tap the name of the desired result. If the desired player cannot be found or does not yet have a profile, you can create a new profile and add them to the group. To do so, from within your group, open the top right menu and select Create Player. This will take you to a registration form. Enter the player's competition level, first name, last name, a unique email address, and a password. This will create an entirely separate account for that player and will simultaneously add the new account into your group. The player will be able to log in on their own device using the email address you enter as their username and the password you enter as their password.